protecting your computer from illegal access. You have studied about how to keep your computer physically fit. It is equally important to prevent damage or misuse of data, software or hardware of a computer and restrict unauthorized access to it. One of the ways to prevent the misuse of data or software is authentication. Authentication is the process of verifying a user's identity before granting him or her access to a computer system. In private and public computer networks, including the Internet, authentication is commonly done through the use of login passwords. Knowledge of the password is assumed to guarantee that the user is authentic. Some of the authentication procedures are Password protection. Protect your computer using password is an important step to make the data of computer safe from unauthorized use. A password is a word or collection of characters used for user authentication to prove the identity or get approval to gain access to the computer. The password should be kept secret from those computers who are not allowed to access your computer. Biometric Authentication Biometric authentication is a process in which biological characteristics such as fingerprint, face and retina are used to check the identity of an individual. In this process, a biometric machine is used to capture the biological details of a person and compare these details with the existing details which are stored in computer. It is an automated method of recognizing a person's identity by using his or her biological characteristics such as 1. Face Recognition Face recognition is the process to identify an individual by using his or her facial features. Biometric machine captures the facial image or video of person's face. This image is transformed into a unique face print. The image is transformed using a technique called elastic graph matching. Images are sent to a back-end database for comparison and possible match. Algebraic algorithms are used to make a perfect match. Currently, face recognition technique is most widely used in smartphones. 2. Iris and Retinal Recognition Biometrics which analyze the complex and unique characteristics of the eyes can be divided into two different types. Iris Biometrics Iris is the colored band of tissue that surrounds the pupil of the eye. An iris recognition system uses a video camera to capture the sample while the software compares the resulting data against stored templates. Retina Biometrics Retina is the layer of blood vessels at the back of the eye. A retinal recognition system shoots an infrared light beam into eye that has been placed closed to the signal receiver. Then the genetic factors are interacted and analyzed by the analyzer to grant access. 3. Voice recognition. The term voice recognition refers to finding the identity of a person who is speaking rather than what he or she is saying. Recognizing the speaker can simplify the task of translating speech into system that has been trained on a specific person's voice or it can be used to authenticate or verify the identity of a speaker as part of a security process. Encryption is the process of conversion of data and information into a form called ciphertext that cannot be easily understood by unauthorized people. Decryption is the process of converting encrypted data back into its original form so that it can be understood. The use of encryption or decryption is as old as the art of communication. In older day, at the time of war, a cipher, often called as code, was employed to keep the enemy away from obtaining the contents of transmissions. Simple ciphers include the substitution of letters for numbers, 
the rotation of letters in the alphabet and the scrambling of voice signals by inverting the sight band frequencies. Some complex ciphers work according to sophisticated computer algorithms that rearrange the data bits in digital signals. For example, take a look at the following code. Do you understand the code or does it make any sense? No. This is because it is written in encrypted form. However, if you know the decipher, you can decipher it. Try replacing every letter in the message with the letter preceding it in the alphabet. You will find that the code 